on by Paradox. I've already played at least two of their games actually on mobile. This is Galaxy of Pen and Paper. Let's go ahead and, and see what this is all about. This is the first time I've actually played one of their games on computer, so most of the time I play them on, uh, on mobile. So uh, this is the third installment as far as I know, Galaxy of Pen and Paper. Let's take a look at the settings real quick. All right, so full screen, pretty good. All right, I uh, should be able to see everything. Looks like everything's in the box. That's fantastic. So let's go ahead and jump in. We're, we're gonna take the third slot because I'm weird like that. It's gonna hit play. All right, Behold Studios and Paradox. Let's see how different this is compared to the other, other two games. By the way, uh, you can actually get this on mobile, uh, on Android, as far as I know, for about $4.99. That's about uh, comparable to the other ones, which is uh, Knights of Pen and Paper and Knights of Pen and Paper 2. Episode 1, A New Saga. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be feeling a lot of, uh, I want to say, Star Wars and Star Trek themes in this. And from what I saw on the uh, the front, uh, the splash, the start screen, there was also a dinosaur there, from, which was outfitted just like uh, Robbie from Dinosaurs, if you remember that show. Hello, can you hear? Can you guys hear me? Is everyone here? I think so. I can't see you, though. Uh, I think my network is acting up. Let me take a look at this. Woo! Who will be the Galactic Master? Who will join the game? Oh, now this is interesting. Does this... Uh, okay, so maybe... Maybe this is a multiplayer. If it is a multiplayer, that's that's pretty awesome. But uh, I have a feeling that it's, it's not. Okay, so I can completely and totally just, just rock out the whole... Oh, this is nice. GM creation. Huh. All right, let's check this out. See if it's, it's, if it's worthwhile. I think that's pretty close, but I don't know. Let's stick with that. Okay, let's check body to ah, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha. Starfleet uniform, sort of. Definitely, definitely different. Okay, so look at that, Darth Vader. Fantastic. Huh. Oh, Marty McFly right there. Fantastic. Hey, look, it's uh, the worst doctor ever created, Matt Smith. Yeah, I know I'm going to get flamed for that. Who cares? All right. What's the difference between... Oh, okay, body type. So, that's that's female, I'm guessing, and that's male. All right. All right, that makes makes a lot of sense there. Huh. Interesting. Ah, uh, let's go with the brown coat. Uh, brown coat rebellion. All right. So, I wear glasses, but I think I'm going to be a little bit cooler. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay. Hey, <laughs> uh, virtual boy. Uh, that's an old technology. Yeah, no. Uh, and huh. yeah, I, th I think I'll rock Morpheus this time. That's that's fantastic. Let's check out the chairs. Okay, so <laughs> so obviously it's a plastic chair. We could go uh, Professor X there. What's that's an interesting kind of almost like a Orson Welles time machine. Okay, could do the captain's chair. Captain's chair is pretty cool. Not sure what that is. That kind of sort of reminds me of like a uh, Stargate almost, which kind of makes sense, you know, jumping into adventure. There's another captain's chair. Let's go with the original OST or or Men in Black. No, we'll go with that one. Okay, so. I'm obviously gonna put that name in that slot for the GM. Now let's go ahead and create a character. Obviously two to start off with. Role player, fantastic. Okay, so. What, okay, so. Wow, all right, so how does this, okay. So, is this two characters that I'm making right now? Or, I'm not even sure. Okay, okay, okay. So each of them has special stats up at the top. Obviously power for how much damage they make, body type, that's how much HP, shield, and threat. 
Engineer skills may benefit from this. Okay, so engineers need need body. Okay. Senses. Ah, that's interesting. Innovative, shield regeneration, critical chance of critical damage. So this might actually be a little bit different from what uh, what I'm used to, so that's okay. Hacks in the next life forms the game. The game. Huh. Okay. Alright. Piercing damage. That's kinda nice. Alright. Let's see. Human. From the pale blue dot to the verse since 1961. Ah, the verse. Yeah, I'm glad we went with Brown Code Rebellion. Alright, so that's already just by switching to Gadgeteer, we've changed out these stats. Let's go ahead and take a look at Achiever. Okay, so let's not worry about achievements. <laughs> Friend you need. There's a slight chance he will join your attacks. Okay. It's pretty cool. Stand aside, the badass is here. Alright. Let's hack this machine with my fists. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Obviously doesn't fit with the gadgeteer. Okay, so let's find socializer. Okay, so let's find out the best route. Storyteller. I'm down with that. All right, so let's see what else benefits that. Okay, so we got the gadgeteer three three two two three three one one three three zero 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 two passive. Okay, so green. <laughs> and Orion. Simeon, he's a monkey boy. Alright, okay, so let's go with green. Alright. Let's figure out a good storyteller name. Ah. Uh, R.R. Martian, how's that one? Okay, so that's my first character right there, R.R. Martian. Actually, it's female, so that's interesting. Let's take a look into this, and you obviously need something that's got, like, high strength. So, Simeon's a good match. Socializer, no. Thinker. Oh, Thinker's pretty cool. <laughs> Romantic, I'll protect everyone. Alright. Go with the buddy. Simeon's good. Bounty hunter. Hmm. Front or back line. So that actually comes in handy a lot. Engineer. Okay. Slows down. Trooper. Does direct damage. Well, actually does damage uh, to one enemy at a time, but seems kind of... Okay. Let's go with the bounty hunter, because I want to be different than most people. So, okay. So... We've got a monkey bounty hunter, huh, who happens to be a buddy. All right. Hmm. Oh, why not, Simone? All right, so Simone and R. Martin, I can see you guys now. Okay, so now we're on the network. Let's see what's going on. Everyone looking good. So we're playing a sci-fi setting this time. Yep, this is a new system by Cosmos Publishing, GURPS. <laughs> That's a play on GURPS if you guys are really into it, and I'm not. It stands for Digital Universe Role-Playing Spiel. Cute. Spiel? Cosmos Publishing is German. Ah! Anyway, everyone ready to blast into space? I was born ready, Draven. Okay, exactly a thousand years into our future, in the year 2999, we have reached the final frontier. Space. It should be the other way. Uh, you live in Tantan, a sand planet located on Laguin system. Anywhere you look, tall sand dunes stretch as far as the eyes can see. You guys live on Tantan Ship Graveyard. Hey, I'm going to work. Do you need? Do you want anything from what's with that getup? I call this method game running. 
You know that'll be for nothing if you haven't studied the core book, right? What kind of third rank GM do you take me for? All right, all right, I'll leave it to your game. Okay, bye, Mom. Love you back to Tantan, finally! Oh, wow. <clears throat> you live in Tantan's ship graveyard. You sold all your stuff to buy a spaceship from Vestro, a local used spaceship dealer. Uh, hold up. Living in a ship graveyard, we should put be able to put together, and by the way, look, magic school bus. Yeah, bam, there you go. There's, there's your little thing. Okay, Gundam in the background over here. Uh, Statue of Liberty. Damn those, those dirty apes. Um, wow, that's, that's another thing. Hey, look, same space capsule. Oh, and it's the Mars rover. Hello. And yeah, okay. There's a lot here. Moving on. Unfortunately, you didn't read the fine print when you signed the contract. You are now bound to Vestro until you pay him one bajillion credits. What a rat! Hey, doofus and sectoids, uh, hold up inside the storage. They refuse to pay rent, so kick them out. <laughs> That's what it is, you guys, to kick out the moth toys in his storage. What do you say? Um, wow, I actually get choices in this. This is this is a definite uh, definite twist. I like it. We'll squash him, which you know that's the power hungry guy, which you know that could gain some pretty good experience points. But let's go ahead and go with our senses since we decided to choose a character who has them buffed up. Are we getting paid for this? Cool, you get bonus interpretation XP. Nice. Okay, now Vestro says, I admire your petulance. But you're no, but no, you're not. Now get to work. What a penny pincher. <laughs> Mission started. I have to start on a sand planet. Clear Vestra storage shed from the invading insectoids who don't pay rent. Boxes of bits and pieces of spaceship parts are piled around Vestra's storage shed. You, some, you soon come across the insectoid intruders, a bunch of moth toys. Say, keep quiet. We're sleeping here. Oh, now this is interesting. Already, I've got... Okay, so I could, yet again, squash the bugs. Good experience points. Or we could have them take down Vestro, which means that we'd probably... Well, uh, choices. Okay, let's go with that one. Whoever that is, he's Arachnoid. Leave us alone. Alright, so, okay. So let's go ahead and add three in. Ah, uh, one more, make it a little bit difficult. Ooh, if we add one more to that. I know we're level one, but let's go ahead and make it difficult. This is how it goes. By the way, we have a max of six enemies that we can plug in. I've only added five. We only need three to continue. These guys are number one enemies, so... This moth-like insectoid alien is too lazy to fully emerge from its chrysalis, so it just stays there forever. So it has a 9% chance of dodging, critical 6%, damage 5 to 6. I haven't even taken a look. Let's see, HP 11, HP 20, 23. So that's going to be interesting, but these are level 1. Let's, let's go ahead and take a look. A whole new sequence to fi Oh, now this is interesting. Derp's combat is pretty simple. Wait for your turn, click in an available action, and choose your target. Wondering what to do now? Attack, skills, strategy, actions, items, it's your move! Wow! Oh, and we actually get a... Wow, initiative right up here. That's, that's pretty fantastic. Well, since we have this, let's go ahead and we're going to slick that. We're going to we're gonna attack the whole front line, okay? So, obviously they're going down to one hit, that's fantastic. We've already cleared out what we need to clear out. So let's take a look here. Uh, okay, so we can only really attack one person, that's, that's perfectly fine. Let's take a look at the items. I have no items, so that, that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and attack one person, bam, they're, they're dead. That person's going to attack, this, this bug is going to... You have kinetic shields on. As long as they are up, your HP won't be affected by most attacks. Shields partially regenerate every turn, so be careful. I can't guarantee your safety without them. So, where's the sh... Okay, shields. That's in the white, but I'm not... Okay. 
So he's attacking 4 HP. You know, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. So it's going to do a standard attack directly to... Now, they're all cleared out. It's pretty good. 14 gold, 78 experience points. So let's see. Fine, we'll, we'll leave. Hope you're happy with yourselves, you homewreckers. The moth toys wiggle out of the storage, probably down a sand dune that's probably scorching hot. Not the brightest ones live in the hive, huh? Let's tell Vestro we're finished here. The moth toys are gone. Good, you got some credits from them, eh? I'll take those to help pay for your debt. Oh! Lovely. <laughs> See, I'm only looking after you fools. <laughs> Take it. And you're supposed to get in you and take advantage of you. There's no fun when you act all indifferent. Okay, I'll show you how nice I am. I'll cancel your contract if you ever get a hold of a spaceship of your own. Don't you own all the spaceships around here? Oh, that's right, I do. <laughs> I hate this guy. That night, you notice a star that shines brighter than other stars in the dark sky. Someday, they will be exploring those mysterious stars, I hope. Mission completed! It had to start on the sand planet. 80 experience, 40. 40 gold. Wow, rat burgers. <laughs> and two distilled waters. Okay, fantastic. So let's go ahead and level up. Wow, okay. Oh, now this is a grid worth looking at. Now what am I going to do? I've got two, two points, two skill points that I can put into any one. So, that's pretty cool. Let's see. Interesting. Those are some pretty cool stats. Change ally. Change your target's front back line and reduce its threat. Change your target's front line. We've got nothing there. Okay, so let's take a look. Passive raises your critical chance by 15. A burning sense, your attacks are critical strikes if your target has burn status. That's pretty cool. Um, it's in intimidating, it raises threat level. What's this one? Tech support raises your shield regen for the whole party by 50% for the next three turns. So that's an active skill. Small health pack. Exceeds heal, does not recover shield. Metamine, your attacks heal yourself in if your target has poison status. Huh, okay. Almighty power. Okay, so I can't do the poison yet. That's gonna take a while. Only got two points. And then he's five. Mind hack adds confusion. Okay, mind master. No loaded dice. That's nice. Uh, heat signature that applies burn. Huh. Let's go ahead and raise my attack. That's fantastic. Yes, I'm going to unlock that skill. That's going to be passive. So that's fantastic. So I have to equip the skills. Can only have a max of four. That's fantastic. And Simone leveled up. Also gained two. So let's go ahead and take a look. Clean up. Better mind. Small health pack. Yeah. Aggressive posture raises your critical damage by 50% that's passive. I like that idea. I like that idea already My critical is only 7% so 50% uh, 57% that's actually pretty good um, Let's see burning sense your attack uh, your attacks are critical and burn Okay, raise your threats Maximum damage by 10% and raises your critical damage by 20%. That actually sounds a lot better. So let's go ahead and... Uh, there we go. We're going to unlock that. Yes. Alright, so we're we're done with that part. So let's go ahead and take a look. Oh! You can create a mission. Alright. Time to test your, uh, test your mission creation system. By choosing a mission type, mission giver, and setting, you can create all sorts of adventures. Okay, let's see what we can come up with. So campaign quest is the only option that we have at the moment. By the way, it looks like that we've got a thing up here. So abductees, fantastic. Okay, reputation 10. Looks like there's some stuff that can help out. Okay, so journey continues. The space plot thickens. Okay, total reputation plus 10. Let's start the mission. The following day, Vestros shows up again. 
Let's see, this MT protector could use some good scrubbing. Help, somebody help! <laughs> Why aren't you wearing pants? Who are you to judge? Someone who's wearing pants? Stop wasting our time and get to the point, Kent. Somebody's standing, sand raiders to take over a crazy camel standing. Blast it, that's bad for business. Alright, Kent, I'll lend you my private soldiers. For a price, of course. Aww. Force Miss Ken uh, Mr. Kent back to Crazy Camel and take care of those Sands Raiders. Who can take that ATV we scavenged last week? Oh wait, why in the verse is a town called Crazy Camel? It's a long story. You don't want to know to trust me. In fact, let's just just go. I'd, I'd rather face the Raiders than think about it. Mr. Kent has joined the party. Mission start! The trouble with the Sand Raiders! Escort Mr. Car Kent back to Crazy Camel and investigate with the town situation. Alright, so now we've got more stuff over here that's fantastic. Uh, so that's our current mission. Looks like we could create another mission if we really wanted to. But let's just do one at a time right now so that we can just get it out. We can also do a quick battle. Let's go ahead and quick battle it up. As you can see, there's Sand Raiders right there. Let's go ahead and take a look to see what these Sand Raiders are about. We're going to add two of those. We're going to fight them. Now, obviously, we got to keep this guy alive. So what we're going to do is, is we're obviously going to directly attack. Okay, so they're pretty... They're actually pretty beefy, so that's, that's something. He was covered. He's now moved up to the front. It looks like he's targeting our friend. Let's go ahead and see if we can wipe this out. Okay, so that's not going to be very powerful, so that's fantastic. At least we know. Oh, jeez. Oh! That's not good. It's not good at all, but hopefully we can get some help out of it. Okay, so gain 9 coins and 26 experience points. That's fantastic. At least now we know. Let's go ahead and move our formation so that we can... Alright. Now we're going to travel. This is a better map than I'm used to. Usually it's 2D, usually it's, you know, pretty terrible, but, you know, uh, whatever. So we're going to go to the Crazy Camel. Oh no, dice roll to find out if we get... Okay, so well, I'm, I'm good with that. Alright, so... Some Sand Raiders approach you guys as soon as you get there. Hey, you must pay an entry toll if you want to visit Crazy Camel or orders from Lord Genormous. But I live here! Hey, making excuses not to pay? We'll just confiscate your stuff then. Wow, this very much feels like those dreams where you uh, wear your makeup in, in cyber school. But, but real life and embarrassing life! Naked Mr. Kent dashes off like there's no tomorrow. Oh, jeez, they took away his thing and now he has sensor bar. All right, bye bye. Oh, don't forget to bring and tell. That was very mean, you nasty bullies. Hey, don't try to distract me. Y'all need to pay, too. <laughs> oh. Well, I've been going the uh, census route, so let's find out. Lord Dinormous is a born ruler. I bet he is. Uh. <clears throat> He'll reform this whole place to his image. Will he now? To fight five sand raiders. Well, we're going to play cool. We're going to do three because two was actually pretty bad. Hmm. Let's do some piercing damage. 
And he's going to attack the back row. So his shield is down. Okay, so now we're doing a bit better. Obviously, he's going to move forward. Just going to do standard hits. Remember, 10% da more damage in the front row. We have a victory. All right. And our, our Martian has a level up. Fantastic. That's a good thing. Okay, so one point... Um, hmm. I'm going to hold on to that point, see if they can stack. That's fantastic. Okay, so we still need to... Let's go with three. You know what? Let's add a fourth one just to, just to see. Um, we can do it. I'm open. So that's a good critical hit. It doesn't seem to have enough SP. Okay, so. Let's just make the most of it. Yep, move to the front. Fantastic. Okay, let's see. doesn't quite have the SP, but he does have splash damage, which is good. Let's see how... Oh, I guess not. That's fine. Ooh, he's low on HP, so I'm gonna go ahead and give him a burger, and then make him punch that guy. Okay, fantastic. There we go, and we should get a boost in XP, maybe? Lord Gynamis will have our hides for this. An armored figure appears. No, he won't, because you'll all be in jail. Great. Sisterhood of Steel? Just guessing. Space Police isn't any better, you know. I'm Val Parsec of Nebula Command, soldiers. Oh like Buzz Lightyear. Okay, I'll handle this situation now, and you're relieved of your duties. Val drags the Sand Raiders away as she goes looking for more troublemakers. Mr. Kent returns. Whew. Good thing I managed to call Nebula Command to aid us. He's just still wearing a towel. That's it. Okay. I haven't had time to go home and get a fresh new towel. Speaking of the towel. Why didn't you just get properly dressed? Quit judging my fashion sense. Well, have you known my towel collection is nothing short of impressive? Anyways, thanks for all your help. Things are looking up around Crazy Camel. Mr. Kent leaves. Hope he'll put some pants on now. At least acquiring treasure is easier than getting off this dusty rock. Nice. Oh, wow! I got a Dragon Ball. One unexplained, uh, unexplained device revives a fallen character and heals half of its HP. That, that's going to come in handy later. Alright, well, that's all I'm going to do for this episode. Thank you for joining in. This is the beginning of Galaxy, uh, of, well, Galaxy of Pen and Paper.